or what we're going to be discussing on today's hot topic. For the benefit of those that just tuned in, of those listening to us for the first time tonight, between 9 and 10 p.m., we discuss real-life situations affecting real people. And I sent one of my studio angels out and about into the ancient city of Ibadan to talk to the members of the public and to get their two cents on the question we're going to be talking about on tonight's hot topic. It's all about love. It's all about relationships and whether or not you should keep your relationships private or public. Everybody knows that with the advent of social media, it's quite easy and quite tempting to want to broadcast every second, every minute of your life on social media platforms. But with the stories we hear every day, with the things that we see celebrities go through, is it possible that with you broadcasting your relationships, nothing bad can happen? So... The question tonight is this. Would you keep your relationship private or public? Would you keep your relationships completely off social media? Or you want to advertise your love, you want to scream and shout from the rooftops and let everybody in the world know that this is your love and you are in love and there's nothing wrong with that. Private or public, would you keep your relationship? That's the question we're asking today. And to give you options with this particular question, if you were a celebrity, if you are a celebrity, would that make, make a difference? Would you keep your relationship private or public? And do you think that celebrities should definitely keep theirs private and people that are not celebrities can do what they like on social media when it comes to do with relationships so while you ponder that i'll take a quick music break a quick commercial break and i'll be right back don't go anywhere keep it 1059 you're listening to 105.9 fresh fm You're listening to 105.9 Fresh FM Fresh radio like never before You're listening to 105.9 Fresh FM Turn that down real quick. Baby, you got a body like a man. I know me no disrespect, but I'm just trying to drive it once again. Baby, you I just got wanna be provided a body by the flies. Like a bench. I'm just trying to drive it once again. Shorty, can I beg your tank? Yeah, tank, yeah. Start off with that what you drink, uh, drink uh. Pardon if I'm road raging, raging But I know you heard my drive is crazy, crazy uh. yeah. Let me taste that with some patience Let me do it till I feel like uh, uh, You're like a Maybach thinking now now I don't even make them like you no more It's like a high beam even through your eye I can door you up, take you suicide A little wordplay, I hope I'm not a happy smile Listen till I'm out of line like a why, girl, you remind me of my G. Can I see what's up with that D wagon? Can I take you off of these streets? To the side of me, I'm trying to see your hazards, trying to be with the baddest moment. Uh, waiting on a taxi. I hope you're comfortable. I need to get the you need to invest in Uber. Work in this curtains when I'm skirting through. Came through in the group, trying to leave in the coop. I mean, I got some you, but I believe in you. Trying to chase the cat. No, I'm killing the dog. You ain't feeling me, no. You remind me of my Jeep. I wanna ride it. You're something like my car. I got the keys to them, but need the keys to you.
How's it going? I'm cool. I was just thinking about you. <laughs> Me? I got a little surprise for you, actually. Okay. I'll pick you up at six. Yeah, sure. Love. I'll see you then. I'm scared to us, and I wasn't prepared to love. I know it sounds crazy, but your mouth scared me. I'm just here because you carried the gut. Hey, how are you? I just, uh, in like five more minutes, you know, touch on my mascara and I like it. You can do it where you are right now. Oh, natural. Yeah, what's up? Way out, way out. That's the way I think. Charlie straight like a concept and they on street. In the morning, I slide over. She needs a ride. I'm like, child, let's give it an AMG. Mm, sliding down, precipitating the street. Top down, let me get some physique. I'm digging your fleet. I'm checking your gear. Can tell you had a good year. Spend a grip on your feet. She like when I drive it, I like it in park. Pull that thing over, you likely to saw. I got her floating like riding on stars. So I keep it GPS, see where this going. Nothing will stop it, I slide in no problem. Ch -ch -ch Chop it, my swipe on your parts. This a weapon, my snake in her garden. So no one, I'm not here to buy the real zone. Like what I wanna show. You don't need no clothes. Give me a little bit more. Nine nineteen on the clock. That was Wale alongside Jeremy with the body. Yes, guys, this is the road show with Rolake. And the question on today's hot topic is: Would you keep your relationship private or public? And when we say private or public, we're talking about social media. And I took it a step further by asking: If you are a celebrity, or if you were a celebrity, would you keep your relationship private or public? You know, there are some people that want to show off the person they love. They want to scream from the rooftops that this is my man. This is my woman. And there's some other people that don't mind low-key coded relationships because you don't see pictures of their loved one doesn't mean they do not have a loved one. While you're thinking about the answer, I'm going to tell you a story. This story, funny enough, I came across it on Instagram, one of the social media platforms. It was on a particular page where people share their relationship problems and their relationship triumphs as well. So a lady decided to write to the the owners of the page saying that she was tired of reading story after story about terrible relationships and marriages ending and that she wanted people to know that marriage can be sweet and this woman went on to write the name of her husband write how he takes care of her buys her car she hasn't given birth yet but he's not stressing her she had absolutely amazing things to say about the man she's married to and wanted to encourage young single girls to not get scared because of all the doom and gloom stories they read in the papers and that they hear on TV and see on social media. That if you get it right, your marriage can be beautiful. And I remember reading it thinking, well, this is encouraging. Only for about an hour later to be on the same page on Instagram and see that another lady decided to respond to that lady. Now, what does this other lady go on to write on social media? She writes the name of the woman's husband and says, keep deceiving yourself. The man that you say is lovely is this, is that, is with me here in Portacot. The lady that wrote the first letter, the wife is in Lagos. The man is with me in Portacot. The car you are praising him for buying for you, I chose for you. He takes care of me and my three children. Yes, he bought 
got you an Apple iPhone 6, but I chose it. And when I got you the iPhone 6, I got myself an iPhone 7. This lady basically tried to let the man's wife know that the man you're praising on Instagram is steadily the father of my three children. While you are there in his marital home, not conceiving for him, we are living a happy life in Portacot when he tells you he's going on business trips. I read the two stories and I thought, ooh, oof, I don't even know what to do here or what to say. And then I read the comments under the story. People started to blame the wife. When you two, you came on social media advertising everything. Some other people were blaming the mistress for saying, are you proud of yourself that you're trying to kill this woman that thinks her husband is a saint? What she doesn't know won't kill her. But now that you've let her know that he has three kids with you, you are the one that is actually running their house in Lagos, this is not good. People started to think that maybe, just maybe, if this wasn't on social media, the wife would never have known the husband has an anti entirely different family in Portacot and that potentially if the wife had never gone on social media the mistress wouldn't have felt the need to come and say this or say that I'm not giving the, the mistress any excuses in fact I think that that's quite dastardly what she did but all the same do you think that that situation could have been avoided without both of them going on social media or do you think the situation was created because they both went on social media let's not forget Tonto DK Toke Makinwa Mercy Aigbe some of the celebrities even Tiwa Savage that flaunted their weddings their fiancés their boyfriends and now we are getting to read the doom and gloom stories of how those marriages are not working did social media and publicity ruin those relationships or were the relationships destined for doom from the beginning? Because if you don't get it right from the beginning, if you get married for the wrong reasons, whether you publicize it or keep it private, what will not be will not be the same way what will be will be. Let's hear your thoughts on today's hot topic. Hello, good evening. Call me back if you can, 80 1059 80 Hi there, good evening. Hello, good evening. Yes, sir. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Ola by name, calling from Ola Nishugo. Nice to have you on the show, Ola. Let's have your contribution. Thank you very much. You see, the issue of broken relationship is not based on the fact of social media. Okay. No, it is of it, it is in it is in diversities. Okay. There are some that is based on the social media. Okay. And advertising or um, making <laughs> a flaring of your relationship. Mm. It depends on you and your fiance okay. or your fiance. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, the person who I'm in love with mm. will tell you that I don't like such thing. Mm. Just let's make it a coded level. Okay. I've knew the person and I have to take it for her. Mm. And we have some that they will tell you that, look, I don't care. Tell mm. me how much you love me on, on what, on any social media. Mm. Put me there. Mm. So, and you know, all this broken relationship at times, you know, like the story which you've just said. Yes. You know, like that mistress has really, really committed a big blunder. Mm. And more so, it is just to help the real wife that what you are trying to say you are, you are protecting mm. and you know considering the situation of things the woman is not having a baby mm. and so that she would know where to face her prayer that mm. no this is where i have to face my prayer then your husband is already having you know, his his children outside yes then you are the one having problems mm. because if she continues like that one day will be a day the man will go to portacot and never return mm. And you will just be looking at it that, no, I have a good husband. I have a good husband. And not knowing that you are not the wife. Mm. Because in that situation, it's just like a mistress now. Mm. So the reverse is the case. Yes. So, you no know, advertising it on social media, it does not really matter. Yes. But one thing is this, that the Lord should give us a very good home. Mm. And the person whom you are in relationship with matters most. A lot. Yes, indeed. A lot. Yeah. Thank so, you so much. Go on, sir. So, and as far as you are concerned, we should just pray. And the person whom you are in love with, mm. settle down each other and know your do's and don'ts. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, if they should tell me that, ah, Ola, they saw your fiancé around 
hundred of boys or hundred mm. of guys, mm. I will tell you that no, there is nothing that will happen. Because I'm, I'm very much sure about her. But she, if they tell me, if they should tell her that, no, they say your boyfriend. Mm. I missed ladies. No, she said, ah, they are about snatching my mm. man. Because he knew that, no, I am a person who is a womanizer. Mm. Can you see? Can yes. you just understand those yes, two things? Yes, yes. So that means I can trust her, mm. but she finds trust it difficult me. Trust you. to trust me. And I am the cause of it. Mm. And I know the real fact. Okay. So that is it. So social media, though it is not really good at times, okay. depending on the two parties. And at yeah. times it can be good, yes. depending on... On the two parties. So thanks very much. Thank and I appreciate much. you, Ola. Thank you so much for your contribution. You must you must very you nicely must. said. Yes, guys, yeah. a little earlier on, I told you I got one of my studio angels to enter the ancient city of Ibadan and see what the people of Ibadan have to say about if they were celebrities and what they would do, whether they would keep their relationships private or public. So we're going to join TLC right now on the streets of the ancient city. And let's see what the people of Ibadan have to say about this. Would you, if you were a celebrity, keep your relationship private or public? Let's see what the people of the ancient city have to say on this issue. So known, my name is Toyose from Fresh FM. What's your name? Good afternoon, I'm Ejiro. I'd like to ask you a question. Okay. If you're a celebrity, would you make your relationship private or public? Well, I would rather keep it private. Why? Because I don't want the world to know what is going on in my marriage. Marriage is a personal thing. And if the world, if the rest of the world should get to know it, then it's no more marriage between two persons. It's now a marriage between the world and the two persons involved. Okay. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. My name is Teosi from Fresh FM. What's your name? Good afternoon. My name is Agatha Sunday. How are you doing today? I'm very well. Thank you. And how are you too? I'm fine. If um, you are a celebrity, would you make your relationship private or public? Well, left to me, I'm a reserved person, so I will make it private. And the second reason to that is that I wouldn't like the public to interfere unnecessarily in my matrimonial home. Thank you. What if your partner doesn't understand that? He ought to have understood before he accepted me into his life. So I don't think it would then be at marriage you would decide to start making the life we are living public. And aside that, we are going to also rub minds together and talk about what we want for our marriage and what we don't want. We'll come to the conclusion. Okay, thank you very much. Good afternoon. My name is Elsie from Fresh FM. I'd like to ask you a question. Okay. If you're a celebrity, would you make your relationship private or public? It's going to be for, um, private. Why? Because even, even if I'm not a celebrity, sometimes things that you keep private, is, is actually, it actually goes well. And even if, it's, if it doesn't go well, nobody will know, she understand. But if you keep it public, like... Okay, thank you. Yes, people. So you heard from one or two people in the ancient city of Ibadan as to whether or not they'll keep their relationships private or public. I guess to each their own. What might work for me and my significant other might not necessarily work for you and your significant other. It's 9.31 on the clock on Fresh 105.9 FM. I've got bills to pay right now. I've got to take a quick commercial break. But when we come back, I've got yet another doom or maybe a gloom or glory story for you of social media and what it does to some relationships it could make it or break it 931 don't go anywhere keep it 1059 you're listening to 105.9 fresh fm
Yo bonge apa beverage bitters where they wait for don't come oh charger bitters charger bitters be your bonge bitters where they fight all kind yama yama things where no they make body function well whether na pile back pain waist pain stomach pain stomach where they run commentary come put you good join who side charger bitters go clear all of them fiam charger bitters you say sama charger bitters for body to they make you see the work where they do for body that now why now that give them approval charger bitters they say small plastic but shall person when not reach 18 not fit take charger bitters because it gets more alcohol inside divine source integrity just limited now then they do charger beaters their phone number 0803 charger beaters mm. charger beaters the beverage about beaters it's here again fresh fm children's the party but now with a difference yeah! we are children got to catch loads of fun like quiz competition Painting, basic kasu, water side, viewing of different animals at the zoo, pool side, games of different kinds. Hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Even mascot. Wow! It's going to be super duper as your children would have a lot of fun. The good news is there is discount for schools, mocks, churches, or organizations that does group registration for children. Parents, guidance, principal, headmaster, teachers, or in now as your kids can afford to meet. Out date Saturday 27 May 2017. Venue Agody Park and Gardens. Time 10 a.m. Fee 1000 naira only with fun and lots of gifts for children. Yes, what a great deal! Only 1000 naira on the day at the gates of Agody Park and Garden, and your children will enjoy to the fullest 2017 Fresh FM Children's Day party. Oh, mm, your children can afford to miss out. Fresh 105.9 FM, invigorating. That's man kuraja. Akuna matata. Oh na, yeah. You, you, and I. O sare sare, o loba o, o fina ingale, o omali, o riba she, o sashi bamula. I'm a lope, yeah, yeah, no O sare, sare, o lo kawi O fina ingale, o wo mali O li ba she, o fa she ba dola I'm a lope, yeah, yeah, no Every day na holi, o api O wo wa toko Every day na holi, o api O api, yeah Every day na holi, o api O wo wa toko Every day na holi, o api O api, yeah This kind of shit Akube, ijo eleyi Akube, olo wo lonjo Akube, babala ye lonjo Akube, his kind and so Akube, ijo eleyi Akube, big boys lonjo Akube, say say dance Say na one life you day, ama ye kope dobu Ama to osu, we ye ko bobu One life you day, ama ye kope dobu Ama to osu, we ye ko bobu Now we the body of the sexy ladies Oh, no, naughty, no, naughty, no, no. Every damn day me and my goons We they spend money like a politician But more any time we they for groove We they set up money competition Every damn day me and my goons We they spend money like a politician But more any time we they for groove We they set up money competition Every day na holi Oh happy Oh oh wah to oh Every day na holi Oh happy Oh happy Girls go shake their bum bum I no get them for problem I no they do a hala Everywhere that I go Them are feeling the boy And the life of the party Every day na holi Oh happy Oh 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 Every day na holi Oh happy Oh happy Yeah Every day na holi Oh happy Oh 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 Every day na holi Oh happy Oh happy Yeah 
What time is it? It's the Road Show with Captain Raleigh. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Lamy Cruz here on the Road Show with Captain Raleigh on Fresh 105.9 FM. Stay tuned and stay fresh, fresh, fresh. Because, of course, we're going to keep it fresh all day. Feeling used, but I'm still missing you. And I can't see the end of this. Just want to feel your kiss against my lips. And now all this time is passing by. But I still can't seem to tell you why it hurts me every time I see you Realize how much I need you I hate you, I love you, I hate that I love you Don't want to, but I can't put nobody else above you I hate you, I love you, I hate that I want you I miss you when I can't sleep Or right after coffee Or right when I can't eat I miss you in my front seat Still got sand in my sweaters From nights we don't remember Do you miss me like I miss you? Messed around and got attached to you Friends can break your heart too And I'm always tired but never of you If I pulled a you on you You wouldn't like that I put this real out but you wouldn't bite that I type a text but then I never mind that I got these feelings, but you never mind that No, oh, keep it on the low You're still in love with me, but your friends don't know If you wanted me, you would just say so And if I were you, I would never let me go I hate you, I love you I hate that I love you Don't want to, but I can't put nobody else above you I hate you, I love you I hate that I want you Just miss you on my arm Wedding bells were just alarms Caution tape around my heart You ever wonder what we could have been? You said you wouldn't and you did Lie to me, lie with me, get your fix Now all my drinks and all my feelings are all mixed Always missing people that I shouldn't be missing Sometimes you gotta burn some bridges just to create some distance I know that I control my thoughts and I should stop reminiscing But I learned from my dad that it's good to have feelings When love and trust are gone I guess this is moving on Everyone I do right does me wrong So every lonely night I sing this song I hate you, I love you I hate that I love you Don't want to, but I can't put nobody One minutes past nine on the clock on Fresh 105.9 FM. Yes, people, that was Nash alongside Olivia O'Brien with I Hate You, I Love You. It's still the hot topic on the road show with Rolla K. And we're talking about relationships. Do you keep them private? Should you make them public? Let's hear your views on this. Hello, good evening. Hello there, good evening. Yes, what's your Hello. name and where are you calling from? Yes. 
My name is Timmy Tokwe, coming from Udo Nokikiri. Very nice to have you on the show, Timmy Tokwe from Udo Nokikiri. Let's have your contribution. Oh, my own contribution will die. Timmy Tokwe, are you still with me? We have not. The woman has not Instagram and assumed her husband like that way. Okay. So now is the because problem you know, that when, she was praising her husband. She didn't know her husband uh, was doing she, anything now. Uh, you know, no, no, even if you don't know, shouldn't allow such. Mm. You know, when you get to uh, uh, marry, mm. you, you have something that you have to avoid. Mm. You have to avoid some chatting, some friends, you have mm. to avoid some work. Okay. So I think you are unable, you are unable to avoid such. That's what caused uh, breaking up. Hmm. So I blame the, uh, the woman for doing such. Okay. Thank you very so it's much. Not, it's not the reason. Uh, you're welcome. Yes, yes, yes. You heard my last caller. He says he blames the woman for going on social media to broadcast her marriage situation. Now, once you get married, there are some things you need to avoid. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, sister. good evening, sir. What's your name, please, and where are you calling from? Yeah, my name is Ade Adela. I'm calling from Lalate. Nice to have you on the show, all the way from Lalate. Let's have your contribution. Yes, 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 yes. You know, most of these things is a thing of the heart. Mm. That is number one. Okay. When you're talking about love, you know, the way some people go crazy mm. about the issue of uh, uh, what they call February 14. Yes. Fast. <laughs> I don't believe that I've been playing love with my wife before February 14th. Okay, yes, indeed. And what happened, what happened after that February 14th? You should continue playing now, love. Going to social, yeah, going to the social media to, ex, I mean, expose your mind, to tell the whole world, even if you are four months uh, old pregnant, uh. you will display it on. It's madness. Mm. For kind of love. It's madness. It doesn't mean, you know, something happened to me last year. Okay. I had a, a girlfriend. Mm. She wanted to mark her birthday on June 22nd. Okay. And she, you know, after changing my BP on WhatsApp, mm. displaying school, the status that happy birthday, to, 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 to. and she forced me that I should go and tell the whole world on Facebook to mm. display a piece on Google. And I said, come. After doing all this, mm. what happened to the love? Mm. It doesn't increase, either decrease the love I have for you. Indeed. It's a thing of the heart, it's a thing of the mind. Mm. Let's forget about this modern and, and crazy. We've agreed, we both agreed before we enter into a relationship. Mm. It doesn't matter whether I go to Instagram, whether I go to the point or daily newspaper before people will now know that I love you. Mm. Okay, so if you want me to do that and I didn't have a sincere love for you, so what happened? Mm. We know. So we need to change our orientation, not until you go. And some, they will even take a photograph of their house. And by so doing, you are telling the criminal the truth that, okay, come to my house. Yes. <laughs> you are exposing you are you yourself. Hmm. Very so nicely said. Very yeah. Thank you so much Hello? for sharing. I'm with you, sir. I, yes. I like the yeah. fact that you shared your experience with, with your experience yeah. last year with us. Thank you so much for your contribution. What I have to say to my last caller is that some ladies think that, you know, if we make you guys go on social media and profess your love to us, then maybe some of the other ladies that want you would know that you are taken. I want to tell you another story of a girl that met a gentleman January last year. She met him. This man is talking marriage. This man is talking that he loves her. He's ready to do this, ready to do that. But the guy said one thing. I don't like all the social media relationships. So please, don't put my picture up. Don't put pictures up of the both of us. You can take pictures of us, so boy. But don't put them on Instagram. And the girl listened for 10 months of the relationship. She didn't go on Instagram putting up his picture, doing this is my boo, le boo, and all those other hashtags that people use on social media. Only for her on the 11th month to be telling her friend, ah, my man is so private. He doesn't like his things to be in the open. He likes to do this coded, do that coded. And the friend says, let's look at the picture of the guy. Guess what, people? This man was married. He was married. That's why he was saying, I don't want to do private and um, public relationship. He knew that if she started putting up his picture on Instagram saying, Le boo, uh, my boo, the one, people that know him might see it. And people that know his wife might see it as well. So 
So for 10 months, he was deceiving this girl, making her think he's single, telling her not to go on social media because that was the only way he could cover his tracks. So that's why I'm not excusing it. Some people would rather damn the consequences, put my picture up, let everybody know so that if you are dodgy, I will know as well. And if I'm dodgy too, you just might know. I'll tell you my personal experience with social media. Me, I do what I like. So if I want to put picture, I'll put picture. If I don't want to, I won't. But I'll tell you one thing for sure. Social media, let me know that somebody that I'd been dating for quite a while was doing things that, hmm, if I start talking about it tonight, guys, the hot topic is not long enough. But if it wasn't for social media, I would have still been blinded to the his infidelity, his lies, his everything. As women, uh, it's the other girls that were going to comment under his pictures that let me know that really I'm not the only one in this relationship so it's catch 22 that taught me a very valid lesson though which is that yes some things you can't control i was in there broadcasting the picture up and down but yet it was through social media i got to know that you know one or two things weren't making sense and i needed to extricate myself from that kind of deceptive relationship hello good evening hello good evening hi what's your name and where are you calling from Okay, you might have to call us back if you can. Hi, good evening. Hello, Pastor Molly. Hi, Pastor Femi. Let's have your contribution. Yeah. How are you doing? Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah. Please, would you permit me to comment on one of the issues on the, uh, which is called Abby, uh, 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 concerning the Concerning the service. Concerning what? About relationships or about? I want to say something concerning the all some of someone of the things you spoke for me and uh, I've been one of Ah, sir, the, that that segment has passed now since eight thirty. Okay, no problem. Uh, no problem. Uh, <laughs> let me comment on. Let me no problem. No, let me comment on the issue of uh, the uh, social media of a thing. You okay. Ah, uh, you what we say? It should go back to to Amato mm. So that is when. If I'm going smoothly for you, Ruby, mm. pleasant. Yes. You don't begin to expose yourself. When mm. you expose yourself, you are endangering yourself. That's trying to invite trouble. Mm. And you see, <coughs> some of these people, these two parties mm. with big money. Yes. And they don't know they are starting problems indirectly. They may not know. Mm. So, if you keep your marriage appear secret or some of the issues of your life, mm. you are protecting yourself, you are protecting your future, mm. and you don't enjoy yourself, don't put your, you know, there are people that will be, that can be jealous, that, and they are wicked, they are diabolic, mm. they, are, they will be happy about you, and just like the person that called last said, mm. you, you can invite, you know, criminals, ritual criminals and, and uh, typical criminals. Mm. It's not so good. I don't advise it. I won't. I won't. I for me. I I won't love. I don't love it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pastor um, Femi. I appreciate your contribution. <laughs> I think that love is a beautiful thing. I think that if you are really, really in love and you are married or just in a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, spend more time with the person you love and less time broadcasting the love on social media. I mean, you're going to go for a date with your husband, your boyfriend. You want to take picture. You are going to buy something in the market. You have to upload the picture. It's unnecessary. I can ignore birthdays, anniversaries, maybe even Valentine's or if they do something extra special and you just want to appreciate them. But the ones that day in day out are inundating us with their day to day hour to hour activity them and libu it's quite frustrating and sometimes you look for trouble even when you don't know you're looking for it sir social media i'll say limit it don't broadcast your entire relationship online some things should be kept private and like mark esther soshinawa says on twitter what is private remains private and that includes my relationship mark esther soshinawa also goes on to say some throw caution to the wind and 
go as far as displaying their dirty linens in the public via social media. Let's not forget as well, there are some people that when I'm just scrolling through my timeline on Twitter or Instagram, I can tell, are they having a good day? Are they having a bad day? Did they just get some? Maybe they haven't gotten some in a bit because they let us know all their various emotions, blow to blow accounts. So there are some people I've not even seen in months, but I can tell you what they do on a day to day basis. And that's not good enough. Like some people have said, you're letting people have too much information about you. Yes. I read something about a uh, family in America. They were away for the weekend and they kept posting, you know, their vacation, their weekend vacation on Facebook. We're here now. We're there now. We're, we've left the house empty. Guess what happened? Thieves that saw those posts on Facebook ended up going to break into the house because they knew the house was empty. They knew that the occupants of that house via Facebook had let them know that they were out of town. And the thieves went and went to go and claim what they wanted from that house. So... Keep some things, keep some things, you know, to yourself. Keep some things. Let it be between you and Libu, as they say. It's not everything. He buys a car on social media. As Pastor Femi said, what if there are people that are just hating and not happy that you are happy and will do anything to make or put a clog in your will? You need to be careful with the kind of information you put on the internet. Hello, Hello good evening. Hello, Hello, good evening. I can hear you. Can you hear me? How is everything? Okay, you're going to have to call us back if you can. I am almost out of time on the show today. And today is the last edition of the Road Show for the week. Mark Esther Soshino on Twitter says, Some throw caution to the wind. Okay, and go as far as displaying their dirty linens in the public view. You need to be careful. You know, just stay true to yourself. That's what I say. Like my first caller said, it's about a mutual understanding. Some relationships are destined for doom, whether they are kept private or or public and there are some as they say in Europe but don't create a for offer for yourself the ones you can limit you know your bobo is a fine guy and as they say ratio of man to woman in this country very very high yes there are more women than men and you want to broadcast so that the ones that don't have can start to find ways to get your own and that advice applies for the men and the women in question there's temptation everywhere so sometimes you need to limit the things that will get people tempted to come and take what is yours it's 9.54 mine my name's Rolla Kebello. My friends call me Rolly. But on the radio, it's Captain Rolly. I say thank you to every single person that's been a part of the show today. I appreciate you guys. And my show is incomplete without your contributions. So thanks once again for hanging with me today on The Road Show. I'm out of here right now. And I'm going to leave you with Dot Man. This one is about his woman. What he wants to do for her. And the things that he prays that God can provide. So that he can take care of his woman. Man. So I dedicate this one to all my sisters and the prayers he's praying for himself in the song. I pray for all my brothers listening on the show today. Dotman's up next with my woman. <laughs>